Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about phyllodes tumor of the breast. Now uh, in the breast we have few of the stromal tumors. So the stromal tumors uh, can be, there are two main important stromal tumor, fibroadenoma and phyloids tumor. So in the earlier video we discussed about fibroadenoma, here we will discuss about phyloids tumor. Now phyloids tumor is again a tumor of intralobular uh, stroma. So again, uh, let's discuss it. We have uh, uh, discussed it in detail in fibroadenoma video also. So you have your terminal doctor lobular unit. Okay, so this is your terminal duct and this is your lobule. So the stroma which is near the lobule and uh, here is the intralobular stroma. So this intralobular stroma is involved uh, and is the cause is the neoplastic part in the phyloids tumor also and it was the neoplastic part in the fibroadenoma also the epithelial part is not neoplastic however because of some growth factors which are released from the stroma the epithelium also proliferates but the neoplastic part is stromal so therefore it is a stromal tumor and it is a biphasic tumor Okay, as fibroadenoma was also a biphasic tumor, this is also a biphasic tumor. That means it will have one stromal component and epithelial component. Now, how does it differ from the fibroadenoma is that the epithelial component is leaf-like. So, here you can see the growth. We will discuss in a detail in microscopy. But you can see this shape. This is just leaf-like shape. So, this because of this phyllodal pattern, uh, this leaf-like pattern, this is very characteristic of phyloids tumor. Now, this of tumor is not always benign. It's mostly benign, but it can be, uh, it can go into the category borderline also and into malignant also. But uh, if you talk, it is mostly benign. And one thing more important is the average age. Here, average age is very different from classical fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma is a tumor of young population mostly okay you find fibroadenoma in 20 to 25 years of age however here you can see the average age is 40 to 50 years of age now going to the clinical presentation firstly the age okay so age will be mostly older age group now the patient will present with again firm asymptomatic mobile breast mass now this breast mass is mostly larger in size okay it can go even up to 20 centimeter but mostly it is not that large but it is slightly larger in size and it can also cause skin ulceration and pain because it can grow so much now going to the gross picture how does it look grossly if we get a mastectomy specimen if we get uh, because this is an older age group so it can uh, 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 resemble a breast carcinoma also so grossly how does it look like so it has a rounded edges you can see over here it has rounded edges okay if it the uh, phyloids is malignant so it can be benign it can be borderline it can be malignant in malignant only in malignant it will have infiltrative margins Otherwise, it has a very whirled, bosculated cut surface and sec some changes can be seen because it can grow so much in the, the size. Some ch changes such as hemorrhage, cystic changes, necrosis, especially in the larger lesions, these can be seen. Now, these things do not point towards the malignancy. Okay, So, these are just the degenerative changes which are taking place in the phyllodes. Now, going to the microscopy. So in microscopy, if you see, this is the characteristic, this is the characteristic leaf-like pattern, okay. So what happens, there is a stromal overgrowth, okay, this is the stroma part, this is the stroma and this is, this lining is the epithelium. So this stroma overgrows such, so much that it uh, gives a leaf-like appearance. So leaf-like proliferation is there. Even you can see cystic changes. Something these protrusions. If you see over here, it looks like the protrusions are into a cystic space. Okay, this uh, this space. Okay, this uh, cystic space. So sometimes it resembles the protrusions are into a cystic space. So uh, this stroma is very important. 
okay whenever we are classifying further the uh, tumor into benign malignant or borderline this stroma is important for that so here also myoepithelial cells will be present like in the fibroadenoma it was present now how do you, uh, we uh, classify the borderline and malignant so it will depend upon stroma only okay because stroma is the neoplastic white type so if there is atypical cells in the stroma okay if you see some cells are small some are very large their atp are present stromal cellularity if they are hypercellular may very poly uh, stroma is proliferating it is hypercellular okay then mitotic activity if you see atypical mitotic figures and tumor borders if the infiltrative borders are there so this according to the grade it will go from benign borderline to malignant so this was the microscopy so here you can see the atypical mitotic figure so if you see mitotic figure like this so it points towards the malignancy but uh, the feature should be in totality so if you see a phyloid tumor so if it is a very low grade lesion so it will resemble very much like the fibroadenoma only but it will be slightly more cellular but if you see a very high grade or a malignant phyloid tumor it will be very difficult it it from it to distinguish from other soft tissue sarcomas also so uh, this is the range of the phyloid tumor in which it can present now going to the treatment now treatment will again depend upon whether we are talking about benign or the malignant part uh, malignant phyloids but mostly the phyloids are known to reoccur after the treat after the excision so therefore it should always be excised with excised with the wide margins or by mastectomy uh, total mastectomy to avoid local recurrences and because it is mostly a benign tumor therefore axillary lymph node dissection is not indicated in this case this was all about the stromal tumors of the breast do like share and subscribe to this channel if you like these type of videos ask your queries in the comment box thanks for watching